Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar from for the UKV, look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as it is turning very unsettled once again and that has started through today. Temperatures though will be on the up as we do see upper air temperatures rising in the coming days. Some of the longer range charts even showing a bit of a spike of heat perhaps into next weekend as we do see some very warm south to southwesterly winds moving in. Now I must emphasize we're not seeing any heat wave or anything like that. It is going to be within lower pressure so even if we do see some very warm temperatures it will likely be accompanied by heavy rain and of course we with more energy in the atmosphere could be some hefty thunderstorms in there so we could be seeing our first proper plume of heat for the year um, and for the summer season or spring to summer season um, in the next sort of seven to ten days the eastern wf today really showing a very insanely hot air mass moving up towards europe and just about reaching the UK but again moving through in the matter of hours not in the matter of days where we would sort of see a heat wave sort of pattern developing so we'll look at that in more detail in the second half of the video so do remember if you enjoy my videos which you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the link's in the description now if you start on the live radar you can see the return of unsettled conditions at the moment plenty of persistent rain further northwards and that did move through southern areas last night Further southwards, we've been pushed back into some slightly milder air, and we do have some clearer skies in places. But of course, with warmer upper air temperatures, some clear skies, sunshine beating down, convective showers have taken off. And you can see across much of southern England, we have got some pretty hefty showers, even some yellows and oranges and uh, reds appearing there, so turning pretty torrential and even thundery in a few areas. As said though, further north with lots of rain around and elsewhere, slightly dry conditions. This sort of pattern is going to continue over the coming days, remaining unsettled. Not massive walls of rain all the time, but there will be plenty of weather fronts and plenty of areas where we just see lots of convective showers. And if you put on the temperatures uh, this afternoon, you can see where uh, sort of in between the convective showers and the persistent rain is where the temperatures are highest across parts of the Midlands and East Anglia. Here, temperatures around 15 or 16 degrees. So it is still, we're still at that time of year where the temperatures are very variant depending on the cloud uh, and rainfall amounts. You can see across Eastern Europe, we've got a big plume of warm air as we are seeing this low sit over the top of us as it spirals, it does push at least tries to push milder out our way but it really brings in some pretty warm air indeed across much of eastern europe here it's seen 20 degrees widely up towards even 30 degrees potentially in a few of the warmest spots and as i said these sort of air masses pushing northwards could be coming our way for a time into next weekend so do look at the latest ukv uh, unfortunately it has not dated since 3 p.m yesterday so we'll have to look at yesterday's uh, latest run uh, and you can see as we head through today that rainfall heading northwards convective showers taking off further southwards but slowly dissipating away through the evening and generally precipitation lighting up as we head into tuesday as we spread, uh, spread into tuesday afternoon again seeing plenty of showers breaking out and some persistent rain moving into the southwest and that will become a little bit more widespread through the evening pushing northwards and giving quite a bit of rain into wednesday morning across many northern areas and again convective showers breaking out across england and wales to the south of that as we head into thursday more precipitation moving in from the west and the south but interestingly if you look at the precipitation here we've got a lot more brighter colors oranges and reds appearing so heavier rain and that's all because the upper air temperatures are starting to rise so more moisture in the atmosphere with that warmer air means the precipitation is that much heavier and as we head into thursday more heavy or even thundery showers breaking out another big wall of rain moving up into friday and then again loads of convective showers breaking out through friday in towards the weekend and it's in that sort of friday through to sunday period 
that's where we could see that real push of warmth. If you do look at those upper end temperatures, you can see very warm air is just to our south. He's just trying to push in. But I said, this is the run from yesterday. So not only does it not go out as far as next weekend, but it's also almost 24 hours out of date uh so yeah 24 hours uh later than all of the runs we'll be having a look at now which uh which are definitely suggesting a pretty warm plume indeed but we do just have a look at the two meters temperatures which at least for the next few days will be reasonably accurate you can see as we head through this afternoon, the first day of April, you can see again 14, 15 degrees where we have some sunshine across the Midlands, but elsewhere low teens or even high single digits. Into tomorrow, pretty chilly overnight, and again into the afternoon, you can see 14 or 15 degrees where we have clear skies and some sunshine, but where we don't, again, struggling around those high single digits. Into Wednesday, a similar picture, pretty much exactly the same. And then as we head into Thursday, similar, but you can see a more widespread 16 or 17 degrees. And that's because that warmer air is moving up from the south. Of course, we're going to see lots of heavy showers and rain with that, as we saw from the precipitation chart a minute ago. But you can see that it definitely temperatures are on the up. And then into Friday, similar conditions, maybe even an 18 degrees. I wouldn't even rule out maybe even a 20 degrees into the weekend. And maybe even higher if we do go what some of the longer range charts are showing today with some of their upper air temperatures. So it could see a real spike in temperatures. But I must emphasize it's not a heat wave or anything like that first of all the temperatures are not going to be warm enough for it to be categorized as a heat wave which for london is the high 20s regardless of the time of year it is high 20s and the longevity of it it's going to last a very short period of time and it's going to be accompanied by lots of precipitation and cloud so although the upper air temperatures are looking very warm for the time of year in a very temporary spike at the surface we might not see huge changes we'll definitely see some changes definitely humidity rising definitely temperatures will rise by a decent chunk but most likely uh, impact will be heavier rain and some thunderstorms now if you look at some of these longer range charts by starting on the gfs you can see we're nowhere near anything warm at the moment with the greenland high developing trying to push colder air in from the north but not having too much success but we're still keeping the jet stream further firstly uh, further south tracking across much of southern europe but later this week we see this low set out in the atlantic and drawing up a southerly wind and as it does it pushes up a very warm plume of air over the top of us again lasting a matter of 24 hours or so through into saturday maybe into sunday because you a very warm plume of air, uh, of air there some runs keeping it around for a little bit longer, some runs like the GFS pushing it through very quickly. I must say though, no run has it more than about two days. So we are really short, uh, let's talk about a real just burst of warmth, nothing more, nothing less. But that moves through and then again, low pressure fills back in and we'll just see the general very unsettled conditions. So yeah, just a brief little spike of heat coming potentially later this week in a overall pretty unsettled pattern. You can see eventually the jet stream does align more northwest to southeast, which will encourage cooler air drawing in from the northwest. So again, it's not even a, a massive step change. Not like we're going to see multiple plumes from the south. The most likely scenario is to see this plume and then it's to turn cooler once again. Now, if you compare to the EGM run, Again, green and high at the moment, but eventually we see the jet stream try and push northwards again, drawing up that warm southerly wind into the weekend. And again, you see this push of very mild air. It's not quite as warm as the GFS or even the Eastern VF we'll see in a minute, but regardless, it's still a good few degrees above average. And then eventually into the longer term, we see again that flat westerly with cooler air masses pushing back in. And if you compare to the Eastern UF, which is pretty extreme, I must say, today, we do see that Greenland high move away. Eventually, we see that low diving to our south. It dives even further southwards, which draws, draws even warmer air northwards and really pushes in into Saturday. And look at those upper air temperatures, around 15 degrees, just about potentially clipping the far south, south southeast there. And then 22 yards firm getting in for France. Midsummer, we'd be looking at mid to high 30s with this sort of plume. Of course, though, being early April, 
making mid 20s, high 20s across parts of Europe. The UK may just get into the 20s if we see something drier with this. But that will be something that we won't be able to decipher another few days of. and have a look at the UKV for that, looking at showers, thunderstorms cropping up within this. Again, if we look at the United Kingdom, look, you can see, look at that very warm air mass, the 19 degree ice firm trying to push into the far southeast there. And you can see temperatures widely towards 20 degrees or even mid 20s across Europe, but very quickly in the subsequent days back into the mid teens again. So it really is just a quick plume there for Saturday, but could turn things very humid or even thundery for a time. Because if you do look at the precipitation, at least there could be a little bit dry conditions there. But look at the next frame, plenty of thunderstorms breaking out in the afternoon and overnight hours. So it's not going to be a, a particularly dry spell, but there could be a brief period of time. And I'm talking a matter of 6, 12, 18, maybe 24 hours, which is slightly drier and potentially very warm. If we finish uh, by just looking at the, uh, I just want to have a look at the 850 HP anomalies here. Now this is from WX uh, charts, as we don't unfortunately have the temperature deviation on Meta Central, but we can see here, this is that southerly push from the east in WF, bringing that very warm or hot air in through Saturday, and then getting pushed away through Saturday into Sunday, and then we're back into average and fresher air in the subsequent days, but still keeping that very hot air to our east. So that could become a bit of a feature in the next week or two, not in terms of directly impacting us, but could spin up lows a little bit more with more energy around. I said though, if we finish by looking at the latest ensembles, you can see the spike of warmth later this week. The GFS ensembles bring most charts up to around the high single digits, maybe just touching 10 degrees. So not quite as warm as the Eastern Louis F, which is mid to high teens. So I must admit it's on the warmer end, but definitely a spike of heat for about 24 hours before we return back to average. And you see no lull in the precipitation, so it's gonna be unsettled throughout. Two meter temperatures could spike as well. Look at that, maybe 16, 17 degrees for a day or two there, Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday at a push, but majority of runs as said do bring us cooler again. And finally, if we compare to the ECM WF, you can see a big spike of heat there up towards the mid teens from quite a few of the runs here for dropping off almost instantaneously. There is little lull in precipitation. So again, the stars align. We could see a low 20s on Saturday, but as said, it will arrive on Saturday and it will depart on Saturday. As we do see it's a very sudden spike in those temperatures. And uh, and you can see here, look at that ensembles showing 20 degrees, quite a few there showing 20 degrees, but the days either side, mid teens at best and likely would be accompanied by lots of rain. So a very interesting pattern that could come up later this week, or I say most likely will come up, but it is showing up in all the runs, maybe not to the uh, sort of extremes the ECMWF is showing, but regardless could be very warm, could be even hot, you could argue for early April, and of course, the biggest thing with it, it could, it could be accompanied by some big showers and thunderstorms as it moves through. Because as I said, it is not under any higher pressure. It's under lower pressure. So we are going to see plenty of instability around with it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you hope you have enjoyed. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're new. And let's watch out for this later this week. Uh, I'll keep you updated with that as well.